Here I have three different air spy units. One air spy HF plus discovery. One HF plus uh, dual. And one air spy uh, mini. Here is the air spy mini. And I have set the level so there is some noise. And I hope this is audible through the camera. And now I add a strong signal uh, here, just outside the passband. And it becomes a little bit more noisy. And I switch that off. And then I go to the discovery. And you can hear only noise. And I remove the strong signal, and now the signal is totally noise-free. Or almost noise-free. I switch that off, and here is the HF Plus Dual, and I add that strong signal again. And now we can hear the signal approximately as well as with the uh, air spy mini. So there is a problem with the discovery. You can see all these uh, false signals that are side bands to the strong signal. But the strong signal doesn't have those side bands. And uh, you can see that even better here, that the sideband noise is smaller with the uh, air spy than with the uh, HF+. Plus. The signal source is this old vacuum tube amplifier, which has very good sideband noise performance. The normal oscillators I have, they are too noisy for this kind of testing. Now, this is the narrow uh, range performance. I will now move that signal around for wider range performance. So, here we have... You can see... All the waterfalls. Now I am one megahertz away, two megahertz, and I go backwards. And here you can see uh, if we have spurs, spurs on the uh, mini, but not on the HF plus units. If I listen to the mini. You can hear it is quiet because the spur is much stronger than the signal. And if I tune, I start one megahertz below and tune slowly up to uh, where the signal is. Well, here we are on the frequency. So, the spur we have, we have below, here, and here, uh, they are because the tuner is run in uh, uh, offset IF mode. Now separation is 1 megahertz and I have adjusted in free mode optimum for this strong signal and I add that signal and you can hear the signal to noise ratio degrades a little but not too much. So I switch off the air spy mini and switch on the 
HF plus dual, which is completely noise free now with the strong signal present. And I remove that strong signal. And there is a very small difference. I don't think I can hear it. I think it was the broad text that can make up a whole lot of work for students in the house. And now I remove the strong signal. Where is that public where I'm from going? A mix of opening and going for it. It's like sleep. And it's not really audible. I switch that off. And now I run the, the discovery. And I remove the strong signal. And it has some influence here, not much. And then I go back uh, to the mini. Oh. And tune the frequency from one megahertz and upwards. And this spur is not present in the HF plus units. And this one neither. There are many spurs. Now I am at a separation of 2 MHz. And I turn it downwards again from 2 MHz to 0. Approaching the frequency here, then I go to the other side. One megahertz away, two megahertz below. So there are many spurs in the plus minus 2 megahertz range. And I stop the mini and start the uh, dual and I'm 2 megahertz below and turn upwards. Så på det sättet är ju varje rad i den här eh, boken är också en seger eh, över tystnaden och tomheten. Um, även om... Now I'm close. The mini is completely dead, as you can see. AGC action that is perhaps not so good for the close range performance. Now I placed the interference about 10 megahertz above the frequency of the local radio station that we are listening to. And I'm listening to the discovery. And I add that strong signal now. And you can hear there is some noise added. You can also see that in the waterfall. But in the dual, you cannot see it. So I switch to the dual. And here we can hear there is a weak noise there. And when I add the signal, 
Det är det vardagens uh, ritual. We get some noise and yes, it could be seen. I have not so much water Tom over here. Tomalinkvist beskriver hur han ber SABH, sjukhusansluten avancerad barnsjukvård okay. i hemmet. And then the... För att gå på promenad med sitt liv. Bears by Mini. Note I have set these individual sliders for optimum. And I remove the strong signal. And you can hear the signal is a bit noisy now also without that signal. And I start to tune it from about 8 megahertz below. It is now. And I turn it upwards. Five megahertz away. The signal is gone. Now all the spurs within plus minus uh, about two megahertz, plus minus. Yes. And now it's 10 megahertz out, and I switch it off. And the level out from this signal generator changes a little with frequency. So that goes also into this. But I switch off the mini and listen to the discovery and turn from plus 10 megahertz downwards. Now I am coming close. This is one megahertz away. So it's obvious. Uh, this one is much better, except at very close range. And there is some peculiarity with the modulation, sideband modulation on strong signals at very close range. Now I'm running two AirSpy Discovery units on the same signal to do both. And Here's the signal generator with the ugly sideband noise and it's exactly the same in both units as we can hear. And I remove the strong signal. And the other unit. So, for this particular thing, the Air Spy Duo is better, but otherwise I think the units are identical. And of course, the HF Plus units are uh, better than the Airspy Mini, except at very close range, as you have seen earlier in this video.